Finally, a peaceful day in Final Fantasy XIV community. There is a new patch and new content coming very soon. The player base is excited and finally flourishing. Final Fantasy XIV Twitter has never been so friendly. There is not a single drama to talk about. Everyone's finally getting along. Can you actually believe this? It's so calm and peaceful. <laughs> I hate it. Why are you not fighting over a chair? Why are you not saying controversial things? Entertain us, dammit. Give us something to talk about. Fine, I'll do it myself then. Hey, it's AV Cat. Like any other Final Fantasy XIV player, I like getting mad at things. Well, not really, but you guys seem to like it a lot, so let's keep this engaging. Have you ever hopped onto the game and told to yourself, today's going great. Too good, actually. I need something to get my blood boiling. If that person is you, then you're watching just the right video, because things are about to get spicy here. I made a list of things that make me rage in Final Fantasy XIV so we can get angry together. For funsies, of course. I mean, no harm. For now. So let's start with me ruining Mikote for you. Once you see this, you can't unsee it and it triggers my OCD every single time. Mikote tails are not actually fluffy. They're like a weird plus shape and it just drives me insane whenever I think about it. Like, come on! Why does this dumpling have more polygons than my character? Is the dumpling the warrior of flight or is it me? Make your decision, Square Enix, because this dumpling alone has more main character energy than my character. They should either fix this with the new graphics update or make the dumpling a playable race. Or I'll riot, because this is is ridiculous. Not every Mikote player notices this because I think it's more noticeable on Mikota characters with lighter hair. But now that you know it, you can keep your eyes away from your character's tail while walking around and it's gonna make you angry. You're welcome. Have you ever seen a piece of outfitting game and squealed inside because it's just the perfect outfit for your glamour? You spend hours and hours trying to get it and it finally drops. You roll for it and you finally get it and then you realize it dies really awkwardly. That's the moment a piece of my soul dies. Like. What's the purpose of those metal pieces changing color? Why would you do that? That's playing with my emotions right there. That's emotional abuse. I'm being gaslit, gatecapped, girl boss, and it's not very enjoyable. Maybe it's just me, maybe I'm the problem, but I can't stand gold and silver pieces together in an outfit. Sometimes dyeing a piece of outfit just completely ruins the whole thing. Why is it doing that? Oops, stop! All right, all right, so tell me you hate your neighbors without telling me you hate your neighbors. Whoever this person is, they understood the assignment. Okay, I get some people like colorful and goofy outdoor furnished items, but this one's just offensive. It assaults my eyes, that's another topic, but it's basically a wall right in front of my FC house. It blocks all the view, just ruins all the aesthetic. Don't be this person. When I first saw this, I jokingly said to my FC friends, whoever owns this house must have beef with our free company. And it turns out, Yes, that's exactly what's happening. I was shocked. I can't believe someone would actually buy a house just to annoy people. They didn't even bother and put anything inside. It's... wow, that's low. We have the best gaming community, everyone. Congratulations, we did it. This one's also one of my favorites. This person turned their house into a jump crust. It's actually impressive. 10 out of 10 design, you could probably survive the next calamity in this house. My dude built a bunker in game. He must know something we don't know yet. It's worrying when you think think about it. Do you know what really makes me want to bring Calamity back? As some of you might know already, I'm main white mage. Now, playing a healer in any MMORPG is usually rage-inducing enough by itself. If I started talking about the things that make me rage as a healer, it will turn into a rant, so I'm not gonna do that. That's an idea for a separate video. There is one thing in particular that makes me want to claw at my screens though, so I have to mention it. Something kindly snaps in me when a ranged DPS insists on saying it the further corner of the map while in combat. Are you afraid of my healing? Do I give you allergies? Do I smell? I don't get it. What's the problem? I swear I showered last week. When you move closer? I can't heal you if you stay so far from me. Do you need an invitation to get in my healing range? And the best part is when I pull them closer, they usually go back to where they were. Extra points if they complain about how they're not getting healed later. That's how you make things personal. That's how you end up with a wall in front of your personal heart. House. When you go low, I go lower, and my walls go high. The walls of rage, they rise up to the sky. Higher, higher, oh, higher, higher. 
Okay, I'll stop. It is really annoying though, stay in the healing range. Or I might torture your ears more. I said I wasn't gonna turn this into a healer rant, but here we are. Continuing with another healer struggle. This one's not really anyone's fault, it's just a really awkward and annoying moment every healer had at least once. Sometimes, especially when you're doing new content, so many people die at the same time and you have to slow cast resurrection because swift cast is on cooldown. And that spell takes an eternity to cast without swift cast. It's a really long cast, but what you're gonna do, you're a healer, you have to heal people, you have to resurrect people. It's our job, even though we know we all would rather keep spamming our two DPS buttons instead. Sometimes you gotta scoop people off the ground first. That's not the rage inducing part I'm talking about. What drives me insane is when someone else resurrects the same person two seconds before my slow cast is complete. And sometimes I'm too late to cancel it, I lose both my mana and my time, and a tiny bit of my sanity too. It's a really awkward situation for both healers. You can see the casting bar when someone else is using the slow resurrection, but it can be hard to see in the middle of a fight. It happens. I wouldn't blame anyone for this, it's just one of those moments that give me physical pain. Speaking of physical pain... I hate the clipping. I hate it. I hate everything about it. It's just hurting me. It hurts my eyes. I absolutely love long hairstyles, but it's... Ah, oh, it's so limiting. Can you actually hear my soul crushing right now? This is my soul crushed voice. I have a really wide range. Anyway, back to squeaky cat girl. If you are that person who types dot 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 in the chat or leaves the party after a single wipe, then I respectfully hope you drown in a pit of despair. I pray for your downfall three times a day. There is not a single reason for you to type that, but you took your time to wrap your two remaining brain cells together and made a little spark to type it. You might be a brave little spark but not the brightest. Don't queue into roulettes by yourself if you don't have the patience. There can be first timers. You can't expect everyone to play perfectly. Especially if there are more than a few first timers, it's perfectly normal to have a wipe. Don't be passive aggressive for no reason or leave the party. That's plain rude. I don't like rude people. Do you like rude people? No one likes rude people. Rude people suck. Don't be one. Okay, I have to include this because it's very relevant and it's exactly how I feel about this issue as well. I am beyond livid that the axolotl mount is locked behind Savage. After I submitted a reporting game, the GMs told me to post on the official forums instead. Here's the thing. Square Enix, if that's even your real name. Forward this threat to the developer who approved of this heresy and let them read word by word. You do not put cute mounts behind Savage. Ever. Savage is for neckbeard no-lifers who play this game 24-7. Give them a crappy Magitek mount or something, but cute mounts do not belong to raiders. You're insulting all your customers by locking one of the most popular mounts this patch behind an activity no one wants to do. I feel cheated out of my $15. Next time, cute mounts need to be available in content everyone does or on mock station. It better be. For real though, I really want that axolotl mount. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you liked it, don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. And of course, a special thanks to the channel members for making content creation possible for me. You guys are awesome. I really can't thank you enough. Thanks to you, I can make my dreams come true and make you guys smile. I love your guts and as always, I'll see you in my next video. Stay cozy.